Good morning, sir. I'm Constable Cote. I don't know what's happened. Well, I saw you try to make a left turn from the wrong lane. I don't know how that could have happened. Are you okay, sir? Uh, I was there, and the other car was there. Can I see your driver's license? What is it you want? Your driver's license. Where is that? Sir, why don't you turn your car off and walk with me on the sidewalk? We can talk away from the traffic. Don't worry about your car, we'll take care of it. Okay. I, I don't know how this could have happened. I'm a very careful driver. My wife also said so. She always said she felt safe with me. Always. It's okay, no one got hurt. What is your name? Derek. Derek Danton. Nice to meet you, Mr. Danton. You can call me Sylvie. Sylvie, okay. I know this must have been very frightening for you. I'm here to help you, okay? Okay. Sir, we got a call about an argument. Is everything okay? It's not okay. My wife was diagnosed with Alzheimer's four years ago. Her memory's getting worse and she's losing more things. He's been stealing my money. A lot of times she forgets and then she accuses me of taking things. He's been taking my money. Mr. Stewart, your wife seems pretty agitated right now. How about you and my partner go into the kitchen and maybe you can make your wife a cup of tea? Hey, so I'll get you a cup of tea. Thank you. How about if we could go talk somewhere? Would that be yeah. okay? Yeah, Great. that'd be all right. Yeah, fine, in the bedroom. Mrs. Stewart, I'm Constable O'Callaghan. Why are you here? Well, I'm here to help you. There is a report of shouting coming from your home, so my partner and I are here to make sure that you and your husband are okay. We're fine. We're just fine. Frank looks after me. Well, that's good to hear. Well, can you explain something to me? You said that you'd lost some money. I don't know. Did I? I don't think so. Well, can you tell me if you have any reason to believe that your husband would have taken your money? Why would he take my money? He loves me. Well, that's good to hear. So we have our good days and our bad days. She's really a very gentle person. Have you got anyone helping you out? Yeah, we have a homemaker come in uh, once a week, and my daughter helps out whenever she can. Frank, can you get me a cookie, please? <laughs> Everything is forgiven. Sir, have you been in touch with the Alzheimer's Society? They might be able to get you more support. Oh, okay, I'll check into that. Thank you, officer. I really appreciate this. She seems really out of it. I don't think she knows what's going on. I didn't take anything. Why are you saying these horrible things about me? Okay, ma'am, I'm Constable Ferguson and I'm here to help out. Maybe we can go somewhere a little bit quieter or we can talk. But I didn't take anything. Okay. Could you tell me your name, ma'am? Um, it's Doris. It's Doris. Doris, the clerk here says that you took a bottle of painkillers off the shelf and put them into your pocket without paying for them. I didn't take anything. I didn't. Do you mind checking your pocket for me, please? 